<laughs> All right, it took four thumbs up, but we got him to play. Here we go. Oh, and this is, it was off stream last week, but this was quite possibly the most epic match from last week. We were really, really almost a little salty that we didn't have this match on stream. But it, this was, literally it came down to time out, last pixels of health. And Crack Fiend won, right? Crack Fiend won. It was down to the last five seconds, Who Man just an input error. He was trying to, he didn't want the uh, uh, a close target combo to come out into the roundhouse. Came out. You know, and, and good for Crack Fiend. Crack Fiend, he seized the opportunity and took the win. It was close, though. He only had maybe four seconds to work with, but he pulled it out. Yeah. And you can tell from the way these guys are playing. They respect each other so much. I actually believe last week, their, their match, every single round went down to at least 15 seconds. And no different from this first round already. Oh, nice. Really nice, well timed jump there. Pudu Man getting the punish, taking the round. And it's gonna kind of be the same slow pace that we've seen. Whoever gets that first life lead is just gonna drain the other one out because they're so great at just keeping people out. Right, and just, these two players are really, really, I mean, a lot of their strength is from spacing. Yep. Wow. Just that low whipping. profile, yeah. yeah. And Luda Man not even going for any safe, or any uh, setups there, just pulling back. Wow, nice. Oh, oh! I think it switched the oh, sides no. on him there. Yeah, the it did. And then he gave the corner away. Oh no, FADC by Hootman, oh, no, but I don't think it's gonna matter. This is gonna be a really bad situation for Cracking here. No, he can't do that. There's nothing he can do. There's nothing he can I'm do. I'm pretty sure he can't even jump over it. Yeah, I don't think... I think you were done. Like, yeah, yeah. You, you were done. Yeah. So first game goes to Hootman. Hootaman just losing to uh, third place Julio, who is behind by one game. So we'll see how much of a difference that makes at the end of the day. Right, and uh, they still went down to three two, so maybe it doesn't make. And a that huge was actually difference. better than what Hootaman did last week. Exactly, because he went three zero. Right, but it now it really depends on how they do in the other match. Yes, and not only. If they're if they're winning their matches against certain players, how well they do, uh, how well they do yep. in those matches with those with those players. So you know, Hootman is trying to lock this win down. Oh no! Oh, and he, he didn't have to throw. Away. Yeah, he gave it away. He didn't have to do that. But Hootaman sensing that he should tech there or tr trying to go for a throw, maybe trying to catch him off guard. I, he might have uh, not been expecting him to have a charge still. Because mm. a lot of people tend to block that high. Right. But it is a dive kick. Uh, jumping Crack being looking a lot more in control. Mm -hmm. Jumping just out of the, the reach of the upper knife. I guess people call it upper knife. I don't know. I still like calling it the finger. Looks like she's giving you the finger when she does it. And really, Huda Man just throwing it out to buy some space. Pushing Crack Bean all the way to the corner. Nice throw on the EX dash punch. Oh, no charging. No charge there. He's gonna, he's gonna eat the ultra too. 
Good damage and the spacing all the way to the corner. Oh no, just a little late with the tech. Oh, the meaty! Good nice tech. tech by Crack Fiend. Crucial tech there. And this is one dash punch and then another dash punch super away from ending this round, right? Oh, oh no, he uses... burns it. Okay, doesn't doesn't wow. cost him. Able to tie it up. Crack Fiend saying last week was not a fluke. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna suspect he's gonna go to Honda. Yeah, and you're right. Right as you right right on that once you said it. Little man going to his, his original main Honda. And this isn't exactly I don't know, because they they played each other so much, so this isn't exactly an advantage or anything. I think this is just a matchup knowledge. Right. And it's also kind of a player thing at yeah. this point. And if you guys don't know, um, uh, another Starbase veteran, uh, Demon Los, plays Balrog. Oh, yes, and that's right. They have been playing against each other since vanilla, so right. if it's any matchup he knows the most, it is this matchup. It's like this and Cody. Yeah. <laughs> But right oh. now, it's kind of not working out for him. Yeah. Although, actually, with the red focus, I think it's like much better for Cody. Like, it's I, I I've been able to do much better against him with Cody because of red focus. It saves my life. Like I'm losing. I oh, I get the 20 red focus. Yeah. Sweet. I don't think Crack Fiend is really going to use it in this fight though, because oh. Super is just so valuable. Oh, it just catches the back dash with the EX head button. And Crack Fiend tries to go for that same roundhouse again. Oh, oh no, he no could have punished there. See, people are just not ready for that yet. And even even when ready, it's kind of awkward. Yeah. Like, it's it's quick. You have to be ready for it. Really ready. We're talking here, and we got like a stand, a cardboard stand up. Just falling down, creeping me out. Crack Fiend really can't do anything about that. Oh. Oh, nice empty jump. That's a situation where you got an EX upper. Oh no, it just catches them walking. And this is where Hoodoo Man plays his best. When he has the life lead, when he has meter, he's basically in a, <laughs> an impenetrable wall at this point. Ooh. And Hoodoo Man kind of just unnecessarily hitting buttons. Not just quite didn't have the charge. Yeah, didn't have the charge there. And not being close enough to be able to to even think about landing a little uh, the end of that hand, to even think about having possibly yeah. having the charge. Oh nice. Nice jab. Jabbing out that dash there. That'd have been a perfect opportunity to stand fear super. Stand fear super? No. Right, nice. Burning the meter, taking the set. And Hudaman goes up 2-1. And you know in his mind, he wants to win this one. Yeah. He doesn't want to go to 3-2 and risk that game, uh, lower his game differential. He wants this right now. I think Krizzle's done. Yep, looks like he's leaving. Later, Krizzle. Yeah, it looks like a lot of people left the building, so. Yeah, I think we're winding down. Yep. Really appreciate all the people helping out here, it, allowing us to run so efficiently. Yeah, it helps that all the people here are in on it too. It's not just us, everybody really wants oh, yeah. to get this done yeah. ASAP. Get this done so we can eat. That's what they're thinking. This is still not over for Crack Fiend. He's got bar. Wow. Oh, wow. Nice anti air there. Really a bad jump in by Muda Man there. Ooh. And this is okay. I'm going to sit on my ass <laughs> for the next 20 or 38 seconds. Oh, and he had it. He had a crouch 
short. But probably one of those situations where he didn't expect it to hit. Especially since Hootaman blocked up the jab. Oh. And then he didn't jump back. Oh. And I was like I was saying last week. You know, when it's it's somewhat of a telltale sign to yourself that if you're getting hit by these headbutts from so far, you might have to chill out a little bit. Yeah. You should not be getting hit by these headbutts. Especially if you're trying to bait them with neutral jumps and exactly. everything. Yeah, I know personally if I get hit by one of those, I'm like, what am I doing? Alright, I need yeah. to chill out, yeah. Okay, Crack Queen really is trying to go to that stand Pierce Punch. And I I feel like Hootaman is not going to burn that super unless he can get a kill. Exactly. I think you're completely right there. Or at the bare minimum, a life lead. But I think he might be more prone to, you know, try to get that super in this round because, you know, if he doesn't get it being aggressive, he still has a round. Yep. You know, he's not going to lose his set, so we might be seeing a little bit more of aggressive. Yeah, he's walking towards him, really trying to close the space. Oh, nice. nice. Burns the meter. Nice. Yeah, definitely seeing a little more aggressive aggressiveness out of Blue Demand right now. Also because he's down in life. He is, but he's one hit away from death. Oh, good block. Oh, wow, I didn't kill. Okay, nice anti-air. Very nice anti-air there by Crack Feet. That was very good too because Hootaman, he tried to empty jump right there yeah. to bait it out, but yeah, he the spacing, Crafty knew that uh, he was definitely going to be able to anti air at that situation. Both have super, but we don't want to do anything. I just realized that monkey's dancing in the back. Alright. No whiff punish by Crack Fiend on that sand roundhouse. Oh! Now it's gonna give Hootaman a free button to hit. In a very, very dangerous situation for both players there. Nice anti air with the upper. Nice. Hootaman not falling for that shimmy. Crack Fiend not falling for that yeah. stand, stand Fierce. Not falling for that walk a step back Stan Fierce. I think you gotta super that, but... Yeah, possibly. This is much more of what we saw oh. like last week. First got it. Super. It's not gonna kill. Oh, wow. Just sliver away. Oh! And that's big for Hood, man. Good patience by both players. Hood man winning it, it's big. 